Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about some cactus. This is one of my favorite type of cactuses. Uh, it is called, I know it as nopales in Spanish. The whole plant is edible. This is one of the fruits that come from it. It blooms and then it fruits and it is very delicious it is sweet it is it is seedy so it does have seeds in it but those you usually swallow it when you eat it if you want to grow this type of cacti it is known as the apuntia cacti and the fruit that blooms from it is called a prickly pear this is my nopal plant that i got as a cutting from the previous uh, cactus that i showed you I got this as a just a sliver of a pleat of a piece. I didn't know if it would grow roots, but I just planted in the soil and slowly it started growing. I've had this for about two years now. I do need to transplant it into the ground um, and it needs to be in full sun. It is drought tolerant. It is very easy to grow. So this is the prickly pear. This is also known as tunas in Spanish. It, I got this one from the store, so it doesn't have the thorns on it anymore. And the way that you wanna eat this is you wanna do a, a small you know, cut on each side and then down the center. And then it should just kind of peel off uh, pretty easily. I'm doing this with one hand here and then you can have it whole you can cut it up in little you know circles uh, it is seedy it is a very sweet delicious flavor I absolutely love eating these I sometimes will put a little bit of lemon and salt on them and the flavor is set is like a subtle melon and a little bit sweeter than a dragon fruit you can make this into a jelly. You can have it candied, roasted, or just ha eating it plain raw. Now let's make a cactus salad. So these are the nopales. And we are going to, I already kind of rinsed them, but we will rinse them. Wash them up really nice, make sure that they don't have any of the like prickly thorns in it. And then we are going to put them to boil. So you wanna cook them for a good 25, 30 minutes. We're gonna add a piece of, this is a yellow onion and two garlic cloves. some salt I would say like I don't know Mexican math we do like however we feel like is enough but if you need an actual measurement I'd say like a dash of salt and you boil it so other ingredients you're gonna use um, instead of just cooking the nopales. Um, on the side, you wanna have some cut up in like little cubes tomato, um, some cilantro, a jalapeno if you want a little spice, and some onion. And I'm gonna do the white onion for this. Um, and you're gonna cut it up in little cubes, type of like a pico de gallo. Um, and and then you're gonna have the cactus mixed in with it in a minute. So I pretty much, not that I'm gonna use all of the cilantro for the cactus salad, but I do use quite a bit with dinner. Um, So I usually like to cut it all up. Cut 
this up into cubes. And this cactus salad is what um, it's known as in English. In Spanish, we call it nopales. Um, and just like a lot of our stuff, we love to use tomatoes um, in our Mexican cooking. Um, cilantro, jalapeno, onion, sometimes garlic. These are all pretty much staples for our salsas, for our um, different foods, as far as even just as toppings. So once your nopales are done cooking, you want to drain all the water and wash them. Once they are washed, you, um, and I washed them with cold water, kind of um, rinse them off a bit. Um, you can take out the onion and the garlic, but I like to leave it in. So we just kind of pour them all in our bowl here. The one thing that I still need to add, which um, is I started cutting the onion, but it's making me cry. And so I'm trying to compose my face <laughs> before we throw in the onion here. Um, so now that we have our, gar our onion cut up, um, and I do have the jalapenos. The jalapenos I don't add because I do feed this um, some of the kids do like it. Does one of the kids likes to eat it, so I don't want to put the spicy stuff in. Um, I kind of put that to the side and put it on my own plate. But we're gonna add the onion, and it's maybe like a quarter cup of onion. Kind of really mix it all in. I'll add just a little bit of salt. And so I'm just adding just a pinch of salt. And that's it. Um, sometimes I'll add maybe some avocado if I have one. Um, and I'll cut that in cubes as well. But other than that, I hope you try it and I hope you like it. And if you've had this before, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to know. Thank you.